Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to be doing an overview on a discontinued ROM and I hate to see that it's discontinued because it's a just a very well working ROM. It's a pure gingerbread uh, GPC HD2 gingerbread version 1.7. The only issue with this phone is you have to do one simple workaround to get the Wi-Fi tethering working but everything else on this phone is completely awesome I mean if you want a pure gingerbread experience it's, it's based on gingerbread uh, 2.3.2 and it will never get the 2.3.3 update because like I said it is discontinued but I really hate to see this discontinued this was just such a well working ROM I can't wait till some of the other developers take the base of this one and you know add and subtract features and do their own magic with it because it's just a, a very well working very stable ROM it's uh, based completely off of the uh, AOSP open source uh, source code. Uh, everything just works great on it. I did a quadrant score video on it. I mean, a benchmark score video on this the other day. You can check it out in my videos. Um, it's very nice. The only run I didn't run was Limpack, so let's get a Limpack score here. We'll do a few of them. It's very quick. The first one's usually low. But uh, I get some of the better Limpack scores off of this phone. Yeah, there you go. I've got as high as 39 on Limpack. That's 38.4. Pretty good. Uh, 0.54, sorry. Uh, everything works. No robot voice. Like I said, there's a workaround for the Wi-Fi tether, but you have all your little gingerbread cues because it is based off of the source. Uh, you have 3D launcher, uh, over, built in overclock kernel, so I'm running at 1.5, as you can see. Uh, half profile set, which keep my battery lasting usually the day. I mean, I've, unless I play a lot of angry birds or stupid zombies. <laughs> um, you know, it comes with uh, the Google apps installed, so you have access to the market. And just, I mean, I just wanted to do a quick overview on it. Like I said, I hate to see that it's, you know, discontinued. It was a wonderful ROM. It, it, I mean, I will continue to use this one for a while. Regretfully, I have to take it out because I want to review some other ROMs. I, I want to, you know, do an overview of some Sense ROMs and the MyTouch 4G ROM and different things like that just to, you know, give people an idea of what's going on. But uh, eventually, I will go back to this one unless something just awesome comes out because it's, just I can't say enough how good of a ROM it is and it's so simple uh, you have all your gingerbread backgrounds live wallpapers see your new Nexus background microbes which is kind of addictive uh, <laughs> when you hit menu uh, you see you have your extra manage apps uh, drawer down there it takes you straight to your applications which is a, a nice added feature uh, also when you go into the settings or any menu you have the orange queue to let you know you've gone to the end of the list which I don't really care for I mean I like I like uh, Froyo it was fine with me and the speed improvements with gingerbread aren't that great on normal phones as far as I've seen but uh, with this phone it makes a wonderful difference I mean you should have some slow up in 3D graphics, of course, because this phone wasn't made for that. It's older hardware. But a uh, perfect daily driver, in my opinion. Like I said, if you're in for Wi-Fi tethering, uh, right in the forum in XDA, he has the link to the workaround. Uh, I think it's an app you install. I haven't bothered because I don't usually tether with this phone. But, I mean, battery life's good. Speed's good. Uh actually the data connection on this phone we don't have HSPA in my area yet and so my G2 is still running on 3G but this actually gets better data scores in the same spot same time as my wife's uh, Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant and my G2 which is kind of disappointing uh, on those we managed around 3 and 4 megs this one I've seen go as high as 5.2 megs which is wonderful for this piece of hardware so if you're looking for a pure gingerbread ROM, I would definitely suggest this one. It's very stock, no add-ons. I mean, but pretty much anything you want to add, you can download programs to do widgets and things. I, you know, I use widgetoids for a power bar and different things for the signage and mod-like effects. But uh, I mean, just personal preference. If you like a very stock ROM and you want gingerbread on your HD2, this would be the one I suggest. 
thanks and I hope you enjoy and give it a look. Oh yeah, no, let me forget all credit to the people on XDA on Pure Gingerbread for this rhyme. I, I suggest you go check out uh, XDA, check out their form and enjoy.